Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick at the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. So I want to find the value of x here. Now, first off, 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So if I replace 4 with 2 to the power of 2, I get 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is the same thing as 2x. Now this is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x is equal to 3x. Now, to solve this, I'm first going to take, or sorry, I'm first going to subtract both sides by 3x. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with 2x minus 3x is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out x from here, I get x times 2 minus 3 is equal to 0. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so now I have negative x is equal to 0, and if I divide both sides by negative 1, I get x is equal to 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So my answer is x equals 0. Now to check, my original equation was 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, I know that x is equal to 0, so now I have 4 to the power of 0 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 0. Now, 3 times 0 is simply 0 because anything times 0 is 0, so now I have 4 to the power of 0 is equal to 2 to the power of 0. Now, any number to the power of 0 is simply equal to 1 besides 0 itself. So. 4 to the power of 0 is going to equal 1, and 2 to the power of 0 this is also equal to 1. So I have 1 is equal to 1, and because this is right, my solution is right as well. Alright, so I have 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. So right here, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, First start with 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to log 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I can move both x minus 2 to the front as well as x plus 1 to the front. So now I have x minus 2 times log 3 is equal to x plus 1 times log 2. Now, for both of these, if I distribute log 3 and log 2, well, first off, let's start with x minus 2 times log 3. x times log 3 is simply x log 3, and negative 2 times log 3 is negative 2 log 3. This is equal to x times log 2 is x log 2, and 1 times log 2 is simply just log 2. 
So now I have x log 3 minus 2 log 3 is equal to x log 2 plus log 2. Now I'm going to subtract x log 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x log 3 minus x log 2 minus 2 log 3 is equal to log 2. Now, I'm going to add 2 log 3 on both sides. And these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x log 3 minus x log 2 is equal to log 2 plus 2 log 3. Now, if I factor out x from here, I have x times log 3 minus log 2 is equal to log 2 plus 2 log 3. And 2 log 3, remember how I can just bring this to the front. So now I have x times log 3 minus log 2 is equal to log 2 plus log 3 squared. Now if I divide both sides by log 3 minus log 2, these two cancel out, and I'm left, with, left with log 2 plus log 9, 3 squared is 9, over log 3 minus log 2. Now log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301, plus log 9, this is equal to 0 0.954. Now I have this over log 3, this is equal to 0 0.477, minus log 2, again, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now this is equal to 1.255 over 0 0.176, which is equal to 7.13. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now to start, 30, we can rewrite as 3 times 10. So now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 times 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. So these two cancel out. And now I am left with 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of 1, because anything to the power of 1 is the same thing as itself, is equal to all that's left is 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is going to equal a to the power of m minus m. So in this case, we have 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of 1. And this is going to equal 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. So now, to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 3 to the power of x minus 1, I can move x minus 1 to the front. So this is going to equal x minus 1 times log 3 is equal to log 10. Now, if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x minus 1 is equal to log 10 over log 3. Now log 10, this is actually equal to 1. So now I have x minus 1 
is equal to 1 over log 3. And log 3, this is equal to 2.0959. So now I have x minus 1 is equal to 1 over, or sorry, 1 over log 3. 1 over log 3, this is equal to 2.0959. So x minus 1 is equal to 2.0959. Now, if I add 1 on both sides, these should cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 3.0959. So this is my answer. Now to check, my original equation was 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. So now, we know that x is equal to 3.0959. So now if I plug this in, I have 3 to the power of 3.0959 is equal to 30. Now 3 to the power of 3.0959, this is equal to 29.99989. And this is equal to approximately 30. So meaning 30 is equal to 30. So our solution is right. All right, so for this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of 4 is equal to negative 9. So what I'm first going to do is add 9 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 4 plus 9 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite x to the power of 4 as x squared to the power of 2. And I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared. And if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And if I have something in the form a squared plus b squared, then this must mean that this is going to equal a plus b squared minus 2ab because this is the same thing as this without the 2ab. So this means that a is equal to x, to the x squared and b is 3. Going back over here, so I get x squared to the power of 2 plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared. And this turns into x squared to the power of 2 plus 3 squared is equal to x squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times x squared times 3 is equal to 0. So now from here, I get x squared plus 3 squared minus 6x squared is equal to 0. And Remember how the square root of 6 squared is equal to 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus 3 squared minus the square root of 6x. x squared is equal to 0. And the reason I did that is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this turns into x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x times x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 3 plus the square root of 6x is equal to 0 and x squared plus 3 minus the square root of 6x equals 0. So for both of these, because both of these are quadratic equations, you can use the quadratic formula to solve them. So by using the quadratic formula, I'm actually gonna, not going to do that in the video, but you can try that yourself. You should get that 
x is equal to the square root of 6 times negative 1 plus i over 2. And x is also equal to the square root of 6 times negative 1 minus i over 2. And also, along with this, you should get x is equal to the square root of 6 times i plus 1 over 2. And x is equal to the square root of 6 times i, or sorry, times 1 minus i over 2. So these are your four solutions.